really excited, we're on our way to look for one of the most elusive animals in Africa and meet one of the amazing people that are dedicating their lives to the protection of the species. Francois is on the front line of this fight to give these little known creatures a second chance and study one of the world's most secretive mammals. No one has more hands-on experience in the field with this species. His passion and dedication are easy to see. Today we're out looking for a young female named Ali. She was released about a month ago and has been doing well. We want to weigh her and monitor her behavior, looking for anything out of the ordinary. They walk bipedally, meaning that with a counterbalance system with the front of their body and their tail, they only walk on their hind legs. So in normal conditions, when they start losing health, that counterbalance starts getting compromised, so they start walking on their front feet a lot more, and also a big alarm sign when they start dragging the tail. Remember, like these animals all come from the trade, so we only interfere with things like veterinary visits because they have been compromised due to human activity. Okay. So with wild pangolins, it's very rare that we will, will step in and interfere with wild behavior. We use the opportunity to just do a quick checkup. You can sometimes see fluid by coming from underneath the scales. Yeah. If there's any infection or anything in that line. So not seeing anything in that. The tags all seem fine. Pangolins are the most trafficked mammal in the world. Why? Because they are unfortunate enough to be covered in scales made of the same material as rhino horn. And there's a huge demand for them, specifically from the east. How long have you been monitoring her, also? For a bit over a month, eh? So that is incredible. How old would you estimate she is? No idea. No idea. I don't even have a beginning point out to, oh, really? how to estimate that. But yeah, she looks healthy and she seems fine. Um, Not all is doom and gloom. The African Pangolin Working Group is involved in everything from rescuing pangolins from the illegal trade to organizing sting operations with the help of nature conservation and the police. They then closely monitor the pangolins' recovery in veterinary hospitals and eventually release them back into the wild. With incredible sacrifices made by Francois and the rest of the team, they are having a positive impact. She's quite heavy um, because um, she's actually pregnant. When she got confiscated from the poachers, while in veterinary care, they did an ultrasound and x-ray and saw that she, she's going to be a mom. Um, it's very difficult to estimate since um, we don't really have concrete data on, on pangolin pregnancies and things, but the current estimate is, is within the next month she's going to have a pup. So we're hoping for that. <laughs> But we'll, we'll see, because with my past research and things, normally just before they get the pup, they will actually leave the area that they're currently in. Okay. So it's going to be very interesting with her, because she's settled in this area for the past like almost two months now. She's very healthy, she's looking well, so it's going to be interesting to see if she sticks around the area or not. And she actually has a satellite tag on, so that's the first time we're going to be able to monitor a pregnant pangolin in such a fashion. Oh, wow. Yeah, all of the pangolins that I deal with come from the illegal trade. So um, they get confiscated with help from, of course, with nature conservation and the police. Um, they get confiscated from poachers, go into veterinary care, where they start the rehabilitation protocol. And then the second half of the rehabilitation protocol and release, that comes to teams like me, where we set up a new release protocol. Penguins are incredibly unknown animals. A lot of South Africans don't even know what they are. The first time I saw Ali, it took my breath away. I've spent my life in the bush and I had never seen one.
these incredible creatures will go extinct before most people know they exist unless we do something about it.